Today we're going to be showing you how to create geometric tolerances here on this CAD model we have in front of us in our new release of Verisurf X51. We're going to be showing you how to create datum features, datum targets, surface profiles, and true positions. Let's get started. In our operations manager, Verisurf, we'll pick the MBD tab. And we want to define some datum features on this CAD part in front of us. So this first icon, we'll click it, and we'll call the top datum A, the front datum B, and maybe the side over here datum C. Okay. Notice when I select them all, they highlight green. Those datums are associated to the model in front of us. So let me unselect this and hide them for a moment. And we'll create some datum targets for, on this part, which is the next icon over. Let's pick the four corners of this top. It's datums A1, A2, 3, 4. Grab the front while we're at it. And the side. Now notice they all say uh, datum targets A. Let's go back and edit these front ones to B1, B2, and of course the last one will be C1. Okay, that was simple enough. So now we have our datum targets created. Let's create some service profiles now. So we're going to come to the next icon over, which is our MBD. Select the top surface. It sees it as a surface and it already has a profile of 10 associated to it. So let's go, first thing we're going to do is go in here, double click on it, do a little bit of editing. Call that top surface. Uh, we'll keep it as a profile of 10 to dim features A, B, and C. Okay, close. Notice that it's green. That tolerance, that profile tolerance is associated to that whole top surface and we'll report that way when measured. Let's try the front of the part. Pick this surface. Again, it sees it as a surface. We double click on it and we'll call this front surface. Let's just tighten this up a bit. How about five foul to datums features A, B, and C. Okay. Notice only one surface is selected though. What if we want that tolerance to be the whole front part here? Let's just go back into it. Do our front surface. Uh, apply to items. Wait, hold on. Apply to items and simply select the rest of the surfaces. This profile of 5000s to datum A, B, and C is now associated to the, all the front faces of this part. Okay, let's do another one. Let's pick this side of the part. Okay, again, let's double click on it. We'll call this side surface. Okay, let's tighten that up a bit more. Okay, to datums features A and B. Okay, done. Now if I select my datums, or if I select these top surface, I'm sorry, it's going to show you that those geometric tolerances apply to all the shaded surfaces. Okay, that was simple. Let's go ahead and show some true positions of these holes now. Go ahead and hit our MBD tab again. This time we're going to say only arcs. Okay, so now the software is only looking for arcs. So let's select that top one. Double click uh, on the arc again. We'll call that tooling holes. Okay, maybe we might, might want to comment. The comment's going to say typical four places. Okay, that's fine. And let's change our symbol to true position and bump this up a bit. 15,000 datums A, B, and C. Okay. Maybe we might want to add a flag note one. Maybe there's a surface finish on that's required or something. So there you have it. Um, only problem is it's only associated to this one highlighted green one. So similar, just like we did on the surface, 
we will right click apply to items only arcs and select the other ones okay now we have a true position of 15 to datums a b and c on these four holes let's have a look here let's do an iso view of the part and let's manage the part a little bit let me turn on our datums and it kind of looks a little crowded so we're going to move MBD so it makes more sense a little file management here okay that looks better to me so this part is ready for inspection Verisurf software will recognize all of these tolerances associated to the model and output them in the report. Thank you.